There's got to be two different... There's got to be, like, different names for it. Because I'm, I'm sure that both of these are, like, legitimate transpositions. Is that the word? But one is keeping the intervals and one is just changing it. Um, basically changing where the root node is. But anyway, it's confusing and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, hey, thanks for coming by. How, you know, it's I appreciate it. It's nice to, to have you here. This is every Friday afternoon. The rest of the time, it's usually like Pokemon and Mario games and stuff. Uh, but it's good to see you, Chess, and thanks for your input. And, uh, you know, happy, happy working, happy yoga, happy all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the happy sounding one. You know what? I kind of like this one. I don't know what this is called, but I'm going to try using this one. The like weird uh, transposed one that's kind of wonky. Put that there. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's so crazy. Okay, okay. Oh boy, that is loud. So, A. I was gonna just go with the C here, with the, like, these, this is, I'm using a lot of accidentals here. Um, because that should be C sharp, but I like having that, uh, uh, what's it called again? The dev devil music in there. The devil's interval. The the triads. Tritone? Tri whatever? Three of something. <laughs> Sign up before just perfect or non-perfect intervals. So there are two different ways of transposing, right? Because I had it in G major. So this has the same intervals as the other ones. So this would just be transposing to perfect intervals, and then this would be transposing to, like... Imperfect intervals? Augmented fourth or diminished fifth, right? But it's also called a tritone. <laughs> That's how I remember it because a tritone is like three full tones, so it's like six semitones, so then I can count it easily. Plus, you know, six, 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 number of the beast and stuff. Um. Perfect intervals, we say the interval is either perfect or augmented if it's one higher, or diminished if it's one lower. Right, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, perfect interval is a weird thing that... Like, so I was always like, what's per when I first heard about perfect intervals, um, I always thought of it as just like, I don't know, no accidentals maybe, or like no half steps, like... A to B or G to A or whatever, right? But I don't, but it's just four fifth and octave, like you said. So it's kind of weird. But I did, I did watch a video about it, and it's, it's just how you break up an octave. Like there's different ways to do it with more and fewer notes, and, and this is just the way that makes the most sense. And it, it's something to do with like, uh, the wavelengths and how sound is made, I guess. A third can be major third or a minor third. Oh, non-perfect, we call major or minor. Oh, wait, wait. 
chat bumped while I was reading. Non-perfect you call major or minor. Oh, wait. Augmented and diminished are perfect then? That's so weird. So only a fourth, a fifth, or an octave can be augmented or diminished? Is that right? No. Huh. <laughs> this stuff is so confusing. But they're perfect because, like, the way sound, the way the sound waves, like, line up or something like that. I don't know. But I always, in my head, when I hear, like, perfect interval, to me it sounds like, you know, like a full C to D or, you know, G to A, but that's not true, really. And actually that is depending on which key you're in anyways. But you know what I mean. Like if it's a full step, not like F to G or G to G sharp or whatever. C, major, yeah, G is the perfect fifth and F is the perfect fourth, right? That's So like when I write in C major, I usually play around C, F, and G the most. And I wasn't sure why, but I think at some point I did read about do the fourth and the fifth because they sound good. And I was like, okay. I picked that up somewhere along the lines, and I was like, I don't remember why, but I think F and G go well with C. <laughs> they don't say minor fifth when you do C sharp, because it doesn't fit into C minor. You say diminished instead. But in C major, an E flat is a minor third. Oh, wait, but then in... So if you're in A minor, then it would, the E would be the diminished fifth? Is that right? If, or E flat would be a diminished fifth. But then that's weird too, because major, minor, diminished, augmented. I always think of that as chords. But I guess it's like intervals, and then the chords are just made of like intervals. So, yeah. Weird. Or it's major and it's an E. Yeah. Man, I always thought like, so diminished and minor, for all intents and purposes, mean the same thing. It's like a half step lower, but it's not a real half step because the perfect ones, the half step is slightly different than the imperfect blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I always thought, you know, what? I think what I thought was like, let's say you're in C major again, right? So if you were doing like a C minor chord, like with one, three and five is how I look at the piano. That's how I make chords. I just use my thumb and my pinky and my middle finger on like one, three and five. <laughs> So that would be C, E, and G. And then C, E flat, and G, I'm like, that's a minor chord, which it is, because it would be the third. But if you took the G and you did C, E, G flat, that would be a diminished fifth. Right? So wait, then what's the chord called if you have C, E flat, G flat? You have the minor third and the diminished fifth with the root note. What do you call that? Like, what do you call the chord? <laughs> I, love, I love how excited you're getting about this because that's kind of what my brain is doing right now is it's all caps like I kind of get it I'm gonna like make a clip so that maybe I can listen to myself say it later and then remember you call it diminished fifth depends if you're in jazz mode or not jazz mode wait 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 so wait because if you I mean that's the interval right but the whole chord if you've got C and G flat, does it matter what the E is doing? And what if you sharp the E? If you sharped the G, you do C, E, G sharp, then that's a f augmented fifth, right? But what if you, like, because uh, it's not, like, major to me still sounds like just normal, like C, E, G is, like, major. Because if you change the E to an F, then it's C, F, G. But that's weird because it's a major scale, so those two, that's always going to be like a whole, like it's its a half step because there's nothing between E and F. Whereas if you were in like F major, then there'd be a A sharp or a B flat between A and B if you're doing like F, A, and C. F, G, A, B, C, yeah. <laughs> and now that I've got things, let's confuse it. Okay, okay, I'll try my best. C diminished. Like with the E with the third and the fifth flat. I think part of it is like 
is it dependent on like the place of the note? Like if it's the third, if it's the fifth, or if it's major, minor? It's tr it's crazy. Okay, C, E flat, G flat is C diminished. Yeah, that's... I don't know what I said, but that's what I was thinking. So we're on the same page for that. Because... <laughs> okay. But it sounds like you'd be diminished even if if it, if the E like the diminished because the 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 interval between C and G flat is a diminished fifth. So if you had that with a E, just E natural, C E G flat is that still diminished, or is that weird because the E? It is. That's I think that's the thing that throws me off is like I'm not sure sometimes if something is called something because of the specific relationship between certain notes or if it's because of what kind of key you're in or what mode you're using, you know. You'd spell it a little bit different because that would be like a I guess you could just say like C major with a diminished fifth. Right? Because if you say C major, it's implying that everything is natural. And then you say diminished fifth, then you're like, oh, but the G is flat. Maybe I can liken it to when I look at key signatures. I'm like, all right, G major, everything is natural except F, which is sharp. Maybe there's a way you can kind of translate that over. Because that makes sense to me. Like, the keys make sense to me. And I understand that, like, A minor and C major have the same notes in the scales. Because, like, it's just basically C major, but you shift it down by two notes, and then it's A. So you're just starting in a different place, and that's like D Dorian is the same, and E Phrygian, and F Lydian. They're all the same. They're all basically C major, but it's just where you start. I was using modes before I even knew what they were. I was like, I don't want to deal with accidentals. I don't want to deal with any sharps or flats, but I want to start on G, because the heck with it. I... 